Five years ago, a group of 16 galleries in Manhattan's Upper East Side got together in order to promote Asian art in New York City. Since then, that collective spirit evolved into Asia Week, which has grown to include over 43 galleries, major auction houses, and Asian cultural institutions. With international dealers showcasing the best of what they've got, Asia Week makes March in New York City the place for Asian art aficionados. I'm Christine Laskowski here with Sinovision Journal. Running from March 15th through the 23rd, this year's highly anticipated Asia Week kicks off with a press walk. Two days before events officially start, it allows us to take you along as we discover the best of what Asia Week has to offer. First stop for us is afternoon tea at Eric Thompson Gallery. We asked what he would have on display this year. The, uh, the gallery will have here 12, uh, 12 paintings and screens, uh, scrolls by a Japanese artist. The one that we have behind uh, here is a pair of screens uh, from 1910. Involved in Asia Week since they opened, Thompson noted just how convenient it is to tour the participating galleries. Uh, sometimes people actually do come, they, they walk down the, the Madison Avenue with a book in hand and you know it's a, it's a pretty easy walk because all the galleries are here in the Upper East Side. Next up is Dr. Robert Bigler's collection, located just one street over from Eric Thompson Gallery. He set up his collection of Tibeto-Chinese Buddhist statues from his home in Zurich, specifically for Asia Week and they don't come cheap. They are for sale, yes, and uh, of course the prices vary a great deal. You have some of the minor objects which may start at like six, seven thousand dollars. The most expensive piece is uh, just below one million dollars, yeah. Over on Park and 58th is the Chinese Porcelain Company. We spoke to its president, Connor Mahoney, who told us about their role in Asia Week's development. This gallery was certainly very much involved right from the very beginning, and um, subsequently we've supported it through to today. Our last stop is the 14th floor of the Fuller Building. J.J. Lally is one of Asia Week's involved founding art dealers, Week and he got his start at invented, Sotheby's so before I'm starting his own it's gallery. It's been a long and very successful run for Asia Week. must be now 15 years ago that they started out at least. And this is going to be one of the strongest. We have more dealers participating this year than ever before, and very large sales at the auction rooms, and many visitors expected. In fact, many early birds have already arrived. A veteran in Asian antiques, Lolly told us how the clientele interested in Chinese ceramics has evolved over the last 20 years. Correspondingly, we see more and more every year Chinese visitors coming to attend the sales, to attend Asia Week. So that's been a very dramatic change for us. So from Tibetan religious statues to Song Dynasty ceramics, Asia Week's got a little bit of something for everyone. If you want to know more, all you have to do is log on to asiaweeknycom This is Christine Laskowski with Sign of Vision Journal, signing off.